And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Crosscode. The last time I was getting my butt kicked. That character just kind of... Oh, there, there's an overhead bridge there. That's just not rendering right now. Yeah, there we go. That was weird. Anyway, last time we were running the Grand Chris Cayo, I was getting my, my butt kicked and wondering why. And then I realized my gear sucks. So, um... Hopefully I'll have a bit of an easier time now. However, we probably already lost this race, let's be honest. Oh. Already solved this puzzle. Can you please not interrupt my special? Oh my goodness, twice in a row. And maybe I am just bad at this game. One second here. Can I please eat my sandwich? There, you can't interrupt that. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, it's just really hard. I mean, I can only use it so much before I start overloading is the problem. Much the same thing. Fortunately, I tend to be pretty good at puzzles.
Oh good, more battles. Nice nut you got there. It's a very huge nut. What does that open? Treasure Pepper Night Tea. I think we're far enough behind already that it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, so now... Hmm. A lot going on here. Now, what do you want from me here, game? Probably something like that. Something like that, but what? I will note that I have no idea what I'm trying to pour toward right now. Okay, so I have that. Now what? Uh, 
me do this. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I was meant to do. I was kind of flying off the seat of my pants there, but uh, let me get out there. Let me get out there. How about don't dash off the edge there, Leah? There's not a whole lot of games where you can move a defensive move offensively. Crosscode is one of those games. Hmm. How do I get that? I want that treasure. Oh, whatever. Oh, probably come down from yeah, from the top there. Yeah, so that brings that up. See what I gotta do. Oh no, I had to do a wave the wave on this side, then a shock on this side. Going in the correct direction, Magolia. Why is it hitting the wall? There we go. This one's incorrect. actually using the to do regular ricochets. Okay, so that only stays up for a, for a moment in time. Okay. I also need to manipulate these. There. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I need to come over here. Manipulate that that way. There we go. Oh, geez. Big counter. Oh cool, there was one of you here. Alright. Break it again. There we go. Looks like the part where I can jump down. F oh, for the treasure. Sure about that? Ah, oh, whatever. I I should have already done that if I was gonna do that. I'm gonna be honest. And get a key. But yeah, you're entirely right. I'll come back for it. By, by which I mean apparently do so immediately. It's not what I was intending to do. But, uh... I got a little lost, and here I am. Time-worn belt. Actually, this might have been worth my time. Level 49 gold. I definitely should. I, it's definitely a good thing that I got this. But thank you for pointing... Excuse me, thank you for pointing that out, Joel. It's some good stuff right here. Uh, this is not the way to go. What, where, where is the way to go? Where am I going? Okay, master puzzle time. Okay, so that'll warp me here. Unless I do this. block here to prevent it from going to the black hole, warp it to over here. Warp it to over here so it can bounce. Okay. Let's start with this.
first real try. That, fr that first go was just kind of to test the grounds a little bit, but yeah. My first actual attempt and I got it. Very happy with that. Three tops. <laughs> One has reached the very top of the Grand Chris Kyle. Standing high above the earth, one is now ready to fight the guardian of Chris Kyle. Oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta fight both of you? Close enough. Dang it. not learned anything. Quick attacks only. Not gonna lie, this this boss music has kind of a curvy feel to it. Yeah, I'm having a much easier time. Ow. Here we go. Ow. I ran out of dash. There we go. Don't need your shenaniganry. At least not this time. Not really sure. Oh. Gotcha.
blue. Probably a third time, no? Ow, 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 ow! Sandwich. Oh, come on! There we go. Okay. Whale down. Sure I'm dying? I don't know, maybe. It likes to do that sometimes. Oh, you Angie. Oh, you there, Angie. to attack three times. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry to tell you. Oh, I I broke him off the edge and recovered immediately. Not this time, buddy. Okay, that's the time when I actually should have dashed out of it. And 
did get hit there. Not by all of them, but by at least one. Again, I broke him off the edge. I think I can break him before he starts doing the thing. Almost got him down. That was kind of half a guess. Crap. I did get hit by that. Why are you doing that immediately again, huh? Okay. down. One has fully ascended Chris Kaya and shown true mastery of shock and wave. This is her from far away. I congratulate you. Farewell. First try. Just goes to show you. <laughs> Sometimes gear can make a difference. The the answer is not always ah crap I'm last. The answer is not always my gear suck. Some players just don't learn. And Jason, I don't want any examples because I know you have. Um, but sometimes it can be a gear. Hey. Spearmints or Leah, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> At least I wasn't last. Yes, Grasshead was here first. Just how long have you been waiting? Oh, for a little bit. No way. Well, to be fair, I've run the Grand Chris Kaya before. What? Obviously, this is not my first Crossworlds character. Then, then why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't? Why didn't you say anything? You dragged me into this whole thing. I figured you'd be aware that I'm an advanced player. I didn't think an advanced player would see duels with new players like Leah. Well, there aren't too many Spheromancers to be found with magic level. Anyway, here we are. The very top of the Grand Kriskaya. The final major temple completed. 
We and all we had to do is beat an a, a, all we had to do is beat an ape and a gigantic whale in a tree. Also, suddenly space. Uh, are we really that high up? It is just an illusion, of course. We seekers would not survive long in space without oxygen. Um, do we even need to breathe as avatars? I'm talking in in-game lore. Oh, right. Let's proceed. Envoy of change. With the endurance of a flowing river. With the agility of a gust of wind. You shall reach your destination. Envoy of change, with the strength of a burning sun, with the resilience of a solid mountain, you shall reach your destination. Your journey has brought you to many different places, from freezing mountains over scorching deserts to the unforgiving wilderness, and now you stand victorious high above the ground. You mastered all four elements, withstood all the trials. You, the Traveler, the Envoy of Change, your accomplishments shall be acknowledged. Take the shade to open the path further to the east. Your resourcefulness is apparent and deserves to be further rewarded. I shall add to your strength to prepare you for challenges to come. And that gives us an SP bar extension, finally. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Congratulations, Seeker. You've collected all four elements and mastered the final challenge of the Grand Kriskaya. The time has come to enter the final stage of Operation Trackwalker. With the Starshade, you can access Sapphire Ridge to the east of Autumn's Fall. To proceed, seek the Cave Inn to learn more about your next task. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Uh, and we get two circuit overrides, which we're probably never going to use. Good luck and stay vigilant. Finally, the Starshade! Now the endgame begins. Why? Because you can learn all the level 3 combat arts now. Duels are now especially interesting. Which reminds me. <laughs> Here it comes. Are you serious? Do you want to duel with Leah right now? Well, now certainly isn't the best time. We both need to prepare, get familiar with all the new skills. We also we played a whole, uh, we played for a whole lot at once, didn't we? It's about time to log off. And that is a good point too. Anyway, didn't expect to say this, but it was pretty fun racing with you. You should join our party again to uh, again sometime, Grasshead. That's a poll to you. I'll, t I'll think about it. Me oui, we. Oui. Anyway, I'll log out now. See you around. Yes, me too. Until then, Sperimenter, Sperimenter Leah and Pentapis Emily! Bye! Oh, dear, what a mouthful. Alright, looks like we are we are finally ready. Now that we collected the Star Shade, we can enter Sapphire Ridge. Anyway, we have played for a pretty long time again. Should we call it a day as well? Alright, good night, Leah. Bye! She really isn't responding at all. It started about half an hour ago. Do you think it's because of the incident with Shizuka? It's possible. I'm afraid this is the only. I'm afraid it's the first time I've encountered this kind of reaction. We need direct access to the Ibotar server to effectively effectively debug this. 
That is out of the question. Is there really no alternative? No. There might be another option. Good morning, Leia. Hi. So, did you see anything new in your dreams? Oh, well, anything that you think you will be able to communicate? Probably not. Sorry. It's fine, Leia. I suppose there are just dreams in the end. They can be confusing. Anyway, time to enter the Sapphire Ridge. It is located, located to the east of Autumn's Fall, remember? Yes, and so once we are there, well, I suppose we just have to walk around until you recognize the places from your dreams. If I remember correctly, you first have to solve a main story quest to access the whole location. So it is probably a good idea to focus on that first. Oh yes, one last thing. It is fine to explore the area with, with your friends, but once we get close to uncovering that hidden location, we should make sure we are alone. I expect none of this is really supposed to be official. Right. Leah, you're here? Hi! Oh, what a coincidence. I guess you just logged in, didn't you? Emily already told me that how- Emily already told me how you- <laughs> My goodness, I cannot talk to me. Emily already told me how you did the how <laughs> Emily already told me how you did the temple together with Apollo. That really must have been interesting. Yeah, that's one more, I suppose. Nah, yeah, don't worry about me. I just did the dungeon at my own pace. It was nice for nice for a change. Anyway, I just collected the star shade. So if you want me to tag along in Sapphire Ridge, just tell me. Okie dokie. By the way, this place is quite amazing, isn't it? A view like this? Looks like a clear star just like a clear sky at night. It has always impressed me. Found the sea of stars. Wait a minute. When you see it, you start to realize just how insignificant we are to this world. By the way, I know a good sign for this. Wait! Hmm? It's a sign language for star. Hey, I know that one! That's a sign for stars! How come you know this? Did somebody teach it to you? Mm, yeah, I guess you could say that. I never knew you actually learned sign language before. Carl Sagan, is that you? No, oh, that reminds me. You should drop by the first call as HQ now that you're online. We've got some great news for you. I'll go ahead. Let's meet over there. See ya. Bye. That was interesting. How do you know that sign there? Or rather... Do you remember who taught it to you? Nope, uh, just the silhouette for now. Let's see, well then. Well, we could enter Sapphire Ridge now, but I suppose you, sh you might as well. Doesn't help if I get the hiccups. But I suppose you might as well go to your guild first and listen to their news. Yeah, sounds like the thing to do. There's our meditative friend here. Hi. Through space. Countless stars. The absolute silence of the vacuum. Now? Well, I suppose that last one doesn't apply. Alright.
So let's go back to Guild HQ. And then I think we'll spend the rest of the stream poking around Gaia's Garden. Because we still got a couple of quests there that Henry uh, gave us. At least one. I don't know if we have multiples. No, we just have the one. Hi! Yeah, Shahi! Perfect timing! Hello, dear. I heard you've just been at the top of the Grand Criscayo. That's right. It's such a magical place, eh? Floating high up in space, meeting all the ancient gods together. Wee oui, wee, oui, it's great. Anyway, we've got awesome news, Leah. It's time for our second raid. Emily cutting right to the chase as always. Anyway, she's right. We found another opportunity for a raid thanks to Trani. Nah, please, don't mention it. No need to be so humble. You looked it up and told us about it. This raid will start tomorrow and is once again for six people. Lucas isn't around at the moment, so Albert will join instead. That is, if you have the time, Leah. Of course you have, no? Of course. Leah. I'm really sorry to say this, but it would be wise to decline the offer for this time. Why? I have this suspicion, you see. It looks like the current raid system has a security hole enabling a third person to drag you out of it. It is likely how you ended up in Vermilion Wasteland last time. How? And we can not and we can really cannot afford to miss to end up there a second time. Especially right now that we are so close to reaching that place in your dreams. So doing the raid right now would be very risky. Yeah. Wait, you don't want to participate? Why? Dear, can it be a, that you're concerned about what happened last time? Well, at least, at least, uh, Linda caught on here. This was likely just a random issue. I highly doubt it would happen again this time around. How do you know that? And that's a shame. But what can you do? Raids really are no fun if people are forced into them. That's right, everyone. You should respect Leah's decision here, okay? Fine, if you really don't want to. I suppose it's just a bit too soon, after all. That's okay. I'm sure there will be more opportunities in the future. Me, yeah, I sure hope so. I want to complete at least one raid with you, Shehi. Well then, I suppose it's time to explore Sapphire Ridge now? Oh, you're at that point now. Nice! I'm sure you love that area, Emily. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I'll be going then. Let me know if you want to start a party, Leah. Same for me. See you around. Bye. Bye, dear, and take care. I'm sorry, Leah. I know you would have liked to do the raid, but we really have to be careful about this. Yeah. We're just not gonna risk that. It's unfortunate, but, um... If, uh, if Sergei says no, then we really should stick to that. Anyway, let's assemble our usual party. Bonjour. It really is a shame that things didn't work out for the raid. Three. No, it's all right, Shehi. There will be many more opportunities. For now, let's just, explore, uh, let's just focus on exploring Sapphire Ridge. You mind doing it together? I'm free. I did contact instead of invite. I see you're looking for a formidable punching force. I'm ready. Sure, it's always nice chilling in cross worlds together, right? Um, we'll be doing Sapphire Ridge next week, but for now. 
Uh, we're going back to Gaia's Garden, and we're going to explore around a bit. Uh, three players are maximum for a party in this game. Nope, I got nothing. No scientific facts about blobs from me. They aren't exactly real, fortunately. Sure, I, I know you'd have loved to share another disgusting fact about them. So now that we have all four elements, can we get through here? I think, yeah. That was the main thing blocking us last time. Maybe like this. Yeah, this is the right idea. It's a very precarious aiming. There we go. Okay, we made it through. And got the pearl. That's all four of uh, Henry's quests. Also, treasure, golden bars. Yes, Jewel, probe. And a galaxy berry, which is a gold trade item. Strange shimmering fruit. The inside seems to, uh, to magically spin. Actually, I should probably not do this the long way. It's probably not even possible the long way. Go ahead and take off this stamp. And now we gotta go talk to Henry. I forget where he is. And his garden crossroad. Welcome to the jungle! We got cats blends! We got everything you want! The Urino names! Didn't exactly fit the song very well, but you know. Uh, so Henry should be around here somewhere. What's, what's your deal? Lady Leo! Hi! It seems we meet yet again. It must be fate. 
Reports in this area have been made uh, have been made by dutiful players that a strange player was seen here. One that appears as a humble NPC seeking help from other players. Let me ask quite bluntly here, Lady Leah. Did you accept a quest uh, from an NPC by the name of... Let me see here. Henry? Well, this is quite unsettling. You're the third person to report stuff. I fear... I feel... Ah, I fear we have a person with malicious intent here. Now fear not, Lady Leah. I do not believe you are involved in such shady business. I must, however, follow a follow a procedure and follow a report against this player. Even if it is highly probable that Henry is just a cover name. For now, I will manually complete this quest that has been given to you. I'm following a lead that will take me all the way to Sapphire Ridge. May we meet again in more pleasant circumstances next time, Lady Leah. Goodbye. Bye. That gives us a thousand experience, which is a guaranteed level. Alright, let's see where our wave ability can get us. I suppose we also have a couple of other quests that we can... Uh, Poke at here. Find the thief of the cooling devices in the chilled cave. We were there, we got our butts kicked, so that might be a thing to do. Yeah, these two quests are in this area. Light decorative flames from Jack on fire with the infested jungle. Go to the infested jungle. And just this area in general. See if we can find some more of those uh jack on fire. Actually, you know what? I, I want to come in through this side if it's at all possible. Uh, it looks like I can get I can get a fair bit of treasure. If I can get up there. Yeah. There's a shortcut up there. I definitely need to come from here. Around up there. Probably from here. Wow. Oh. Well, this just takes us to the. Okay, well, whatever. We're here now, I guess.
There we go. Whoa. Okay, we, we might be a little better equipped than we were last time, but that doesn't mean we get to be careless. Like the guys from Mario Sunshine. All right, this guy. Hmm. We're back to Mrs. Bossu at Basin Keep. Just gonna go ahead and turn all these off. I don't know if that had any effect on anything, but what I decided to do. Oh, I made a trigger. You know, cats were domesticated a long time ago, just like dogs. Well, in contrast to dogs, they don't they didn't really go through any major change during domestication. That's because they're never they've never been domesticated. They're just to live with us humans. Not a fan of the fact that uh, there's so many flowers here in the way. Let's drop all of the gates except for this one. Because the game is a jerk. Should just be able to. Yeah, there's nothing over here, so just jump over here and get the treasure. Seven glowing spheres. 
probably not that much worth it. Especially since this doesn't seem to lead to anything. If I can, yes, I can go over here. Ah, I have uncovered the secrets and gained the prize of, of static fur balls. Cool. All right. What else can I discover if I continue this way? Huh. Weird that there's a warp thing there. And we've unlocked this. And this pretty much just leads us to the uh, Shad Village, doesn't it? Which, by the way, they should be more amenable to us now. Like, we, sh we should actually be able to trade with them at this point. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Rough branch. Let's see how that fares. Level 41 silver quality. So it's a level lower than what we have, but it's a higher, higher rarity. I don't think this is particularly worth it. It would have been worth it if I had gotten it at the right time. Anyway, that's probably everything this path has to offer. Yeah, exactly, Jewel. Ah, oh, no, there's still a thing there. Which I should just be able to get to over here. Four durians. The spikiest of fruit. The fruit of masochist.
Ah, how do I get up there? And the platforming puzzles are getting real. Something up here that might let us do some stuff. Provided we don't get hassled by the local feline. <laughs> The big problem when you have like long paths like these is I kind of forget what it is my goal is supposed to be. There we go. So now this brings us to over here, which is what I was trying to do. Now we have an, an easy way up here. Also press this button. Hmm. Can we just do this? I guess that works. Oh. There we go. Oh dear. We ended up in a pretty strange corner again, didn't we? So what does that do for the price of tea in China? I don't see that that's doing anything else. I think it done hecked up. Oh no, there we go. We got treasure. Air. Wait, isn't that what I have? Yeah, it is what I have. Well, now I have two of them. <laughs> There's no bees coming out of them. Not the bees!
Yeah, I think I think that the thing about the pumpkins is that they only show up in very specific locations. Such as here. So you need seven and you get exactly seven. And fortunately that kind of knocked me off of my thing. Ooh. I can turn this on. And I can just try again. takes us up here. I'm pretty sure we were here before, but yeah, because there's there's a treasure that we've already collected. But we didn't have wave at the time. And then I immediately fall off like a bum. Alright, well. Might be worth finding the uh, the shortcut that opens that up, which I, th which I think is part of what I was trying to do by going around this this way. But again, I'm bad at pathing. Oh, I've already opened that one, apparently. So I guess that would have been a thing that I could have done. What room is this dear leg? Okay, well at least now I know. For now. Thing that I can actually do. Okay, that's too high to jump up on. There was this thing that we've already hit. 
Oh my goodness, we came here for nothing, didn't we? This reminds me of uh, of the old days when I was playing Tumba. Remember that time I was playing Tumba? That was uh, about 4,000 years ago. And that other time that I was playing Tumba, which was like 3,000 years ago. Tumba, it is a uh, the platformer for a PlayStation. Pretty good game. Oh hey, there's a thing right there. Cool. Alright. Okay, so we've unlocked a shortcut. But what can we do with this? There seems to be a lot of mushroom paths around here. Okay, so we can go over here. Treasure here. The real lazy claws. Who crossed all this code? Somebody get a program for stat. Hey, Zero. Hope you're doing well tonight. Takes us up a little bit higher. And that is not on the same level as us. That is. If we can keep our altitude here as much as possible. Two stout back plates. That would have helped us earlier. Yeah, the tail end of the stream, right? Like, we we've accomplished our goal at this point. So at this point, we're just kind of mucking around Gaia's garden, trying to get some uh, some treasures. Cause. Oh baby, there's uh, the the platforming puzzles in Gaia's Garden get kinda real. Oh. Fortunately, we got that. Uh, Shortcut, so we don't have to go through everything again. Uh, if there is one good thing about the complex puzzles in this game, like the complex platforming puzzles, it is that the, like, if you're good enough to actually find your way through these puzzles, 
Uh, it will give you track points. Five virus rooms. I think I could have gotten some trader gear for those. I don't know if five are enough though. Five golden bars. Ah. Uh oh. I guess I guess that might work. Ah, dang it. And also some treasure up there, I would like. Unfortunately, in CrossCode, you cannot pet the cat. The cat will electrocute you. I think I'm good on this part. Go look around here. <laughs> I'm gonna say it gets you lip here now. <laughs> I have to enjoy my my new life in the tropical island of oh wait I can map teleport. Now that's a place where I would definitely dive into the water if I could. You sure? Jungle rivers are incredibly active ecosystems. What do you mean? There's all kinds of stuff in there, including bugs. Lots of bugs. Why do you have to destroy my fantasies? 
Water is deadly, Emily. Deadly and probably not real. Oh no, Foil Head Tronny is back. I think I can go under here, yeah. Ah, oh, I got another plant analyzed. It's mostly a matter of remembering where I actually needed um wave, really. Actually, let's go back to Vertiview. Because now these people should actually be kind of friendly. Well, the ones that feel like talking anyway. some wave platforming here. And we get to climb up here. Now what can I do with this information? I'm not high enough to hit that. I appreciate that the VRPs actually make different noises based on um, which element you have up. Treasure! Three star fruit. Surely someone's gonna want to talk to us around here now. Still not trust human. I guess not. I just been told. There is, however, this. What does this lead to? Leads to you. You don't want to talk to us. It also leads to treasure. Five Elder Wood. So, one might be able to say, I've got wood. Uh, Sorry if this part of the stream is not very exciting, by the way, but uh, that's what we're in for, for 
the rest of the stream. Which is gonna be another 15 minutes. Because it's really like at least a quarter of the value of the game is just going around and trying to figure out all of these weird platforming puzzles. And I mean, you do get rewarded for it. Like, so, some of these puzzles will... Hmm. Some of these puzzles will give you items, some of them will give you gear. I can bank it off the tree. Problem is I don't see it banking off the tree. But I don't know if it's banking in the right direction. Probably is. Yeah, I can't get a better angle than that. go over here. Yeah, there we go. We also get this. Some salted peanuts. Wait a minute. Oh, that's time based. Oh, you asshole. And then I immediately mess it up. Okay. Can I still make it? I can still make it. We got eight chef sandwiches. Do those restore again? Yeah, they restore 50% of max HP. Also, I, I apparently ran out at some point and that took them out of the uh, took them out of the favorites. There we go. Also, if you want, since we are approaching the end of the stream here, to stick around, I do have a raid lined up. Which I wasn't expecting to happen today, but you know. Sometimes people don't stream on a schedule. They just kind of stream whenever they can. And this is one of those times. You know, raiding Jomara. You know that thing where so, some streamers will uh, 
direct their viewers to other streamers once they're done. No, not Raid Shadow Legends. Kappa you. Okay, so what did that do? Is there another one? There's four of these things. I must have missed the uh, the one over there. Is there a fifth one? Oh, what is this? Holy crap. So that gives us a way up here. We have four huge nuts. Cool. Alright. I'm down with that. What else can we get? Yeah, time zones can be can definitely be a thing. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna get anything done over there. I wonder if we go over here. There's just a wall here too. Why is everything walled off all the time? Let's go take another look at this area. Okay, lucky shot, and then I immediately mess it up because I wasn't expecting to make that. All right, well, you have uh, you have a good night there, Jewel. Thanks for coming by.
Okay, so now we're here. And what does that offer us in return? Let's hit this. So now we have a shortcut to up here. Let's see what what more things that we can discover. With these five minutes left in the stream. Oh dear, we finally reached it. Rough branch. Which I think we already had one of those. So that's awesome. Here that we haven't already explored. But I think we already have explored this. So much water, as expected for a jungle. Definitely got some, uh, some wave racing going on here. Wave race, race, race. here earlier. So I need to get to this island over here. Possibly over here? Aha! Found the path to treasure. More salted peanuts. Let's see if we can lead to more treasure. Well, not if I do that. Dang it. I might go a little bit over here, but mostly because, like, I am onto something and I don't really want to lose it. Getting paid in peanut. 
da 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 This is absolutely not where we were before, I don't think. Where am I going? I know where I want to be, I just don't remember how I got there. Oh, okay. Good grief indeed. Not for the sake of your time and my time, the for my salt my salt state drive, which is rapidly filling as I'm recording this. I do want to get this done as quickly as possible. Come on, really? Sometimes it's just very hard to read this terrain is the problem. If there's one good thing about uh, Charlie Brown, it's the grief. There we go. So what does that give us? Now we can go over here. Onto here. It takes us to this uh, little warping place. And then watch them. We can't jump over there. Can't pass through here. What are we supposed to do? Unfortunately, we uh, we opened up a uh, oh, right. we opened up a shortcut, so we don't have to do most of that again. There's also this like. Actually, can I jump that? Uh, I can't jump that, it's not on the same level. I am not seeing it right now.
I was onto something, but unfortunately I have lost it and we're already five minutes over, so that's gonna have to do it. It's probably not hmm. I don't think so, Zero, because we we finished the uh the main story quests of uh Gaia's Garden, which means that we should have access to everything in it. But in any case, um, oop, there we go. So thank y'all for watching. We had um, we had Jewel, we had Jason, we had uh, Ricky of Benoist, and we had Zero. So stick around if you want. Uh, we will be raiding Susball, who is currently continuing her run of uh, King's Quest Adventures of Graham. Um, see if I can figure out how to do that on my phone, actually. Is there a button for this here? So the next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow. It's usually at 3 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Uh, it is the Code Creator stream. However, it might be a little bit late because um, a, a meeting just came up for me like earlier today that I wasn't really expecting. So Yeah, I have no idea how to do it on my phone. I'm going to have to do it in my browser. Um, so yeah, it's a code creator stream. We're probably going to keep working on uh, Meredith for Archipelago. Might not be a whole lot of programming. Might just be more, um, more testing the thing because we still got to do some tests and stuff and polish it up a little bit more. But we are getting real close to an official release here, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Uh, or later, Atlantic Standard Time, it is the Sunday Super Shuffle. Um, and I know that uh, Mazzy and Zuzio probably will not be there, but uh, hopefully J-Pop for Life will, and if he is, he's going to be playing Raft, uh, which would actually be the first person to uh, play Raft in our group, so that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully you can be there too, Zero. Uh, no pressure, of course, I know you tend to be pretty busy. Um, and that takes us around the week, around the wheel, to our next uh, cross code long run stream uh, where we're going to go into Sapphire Ridge. Uh, also, between now and then, there should be uh, one, maybe two more streams of um, doing uh, Smash TV, which I said I would do yesterday but ended up not. Uh, there's currently an, uh, an async going on in uh, the Archipelago server, which uh, ends up taking a whole lot of time when you have six worlds running for that. Um, and possibly a stream on uh, Wednesday and maybe one on Friday. Um, not guaranteed, but there's going to be some more Blitzkrieg Zooks um, jams. And if I can think of something for those, then I might stream those as well. So, uh, I believe that pretty much does it for that. 
So once again, stick around if you want to check out Seth Ball playing uh, King's Quest, the newer one. Uh, and thank y'all for watching. I'm cool here if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.